Hi, Jim Hotailing here, and I'm with Steph Duplessis. Steph, it's an honor to have you Hi, here. And uh, we were talking earlier about the importance of employee engagement, and I'd love to have your thoughts for our audience on what is your perspective on employee engagement? So you have a two-hour conversation in two minutes. Sure, absolutely. I think yeah. that most employees really don't care about company vision, mission, and strategies, mm. and most employees don't really care about company values. <laughs> um, I know this because I work with organizations who are trying to embed their values, good values, values that would make it a great place to work. But after years of trying, they are battling to get their people to demonstrate the values. So that, for instance, if a new employee came to work on day one, and did not go on induction training where they would have learned the values. Right. And if we took the posters down and we put that new employee in the workplace, that that new employee would see the values enabled. So that we would ask them later, so what were the values? And they tell us what should be on the poster. And that's not happening in organizations. And I think it's really simple. I, I think that uh, Maslow told us what's wrong. Huh. I think he said certain things have to be in place before other things can be in place. Yep. And I think that what needs to be in place is what I call one's life score. It's how your life is going. It's how it's going outside of work. How it's going in the rest of your life. How it's going with your kidney recipients. Those are the people that you would give both your kidneys to. <laughs> and right. those people don't work in the company. Yep. But in the company, working next to me is somebody dealing with issues just like me. Because it's true that everyone you meet is carrying a load that you cannot see. And it's true of the employee next to me. But tonight, that employee has to go home broken and empty with nothing left to give to their kidney recipients who matter most. Mm -hmm. And if we can help people to understand that the reason we should embed our, ourselves in, in what we're doing here is that we can make this a better place for everyone. And then we can also achieve that one primary thing that everyone is trying to achieve, whether they know it consciously or not. We want our lives to matter. We want to do something meaningful. We want to leave something bigger than us behind. We want to right. build something that when somebody looks at it, we can say to them, hey, I built that. Yeah. Look, there's my brick. And if we help them to understand why they should do that, not for the company, not for the balance sheet, not for the customers or shareholders, not for quality, not even for safety, they need to do that so that they don't go home broken and empty at the end of every shift. If we can do that, in the companies I've worked in, in 50 countries over the last 30 years, I think... I said that glibly, this is not easy, it's not a quick fix. But in some of those companies, if we can give people a reason to come to work, I think we can get employees engaged. Steph, I love that. Belief in something bigger than yourself. There we go. Awesome. Thanks Steph. for